Hello Solana, my name is Chris Wilson, and in this video, we will be transferring soul tokens on the React app we've been working on for the Solana pathway. So to get started, we can go ahead and click next step, and we can go to view step instructions, sending soul tokens on Solana. To transfer some value to another account, we need to create and send a sign transaction to the cluster. Once you understand how to do this, you will have a solid foundation for interacting with other portions of the Solana API. Solana Runtime will execute the program and process each instruction in order and automatically when submitting a transaction to the cluster. This means that if any of the instructions fail, the entire transaction will revert. The challenge. In SRC components transfer, we will be implementing the transfer function. And that is right here. Go ahead and take a few minutes to figure this out. Again, if you have any questions, you can join our Discord in the link down below. If after you take a break, you are still not sure how to do this, you can come back to the video and we'll go over the solution together so you don't get stuck. Go ahead and take a few minutes to figure this out. All right, the solution. So for here, we're just gonna go ahead and delete all of this. And what we want is we're gonna do a constructor. So that's const and that'll be transaction. And that will equal a new transaction, which will have a method. And we will add instructions. Then we want to set the transaction signature to null and set fetching to true. And then we want to send and confirm the transaction, connection, transaction, signers, then signature. And we're gonna pass that to a function, set transaction signature, signature, and then we will set fetching to false. And then we will catch error, and then we will pass that, and we will pass that to console log with error set fetching to false and hit it with a save. Now we can go to our React app, make sure the code is correct. And there's the sender, let's generate an address. Let's send one LAN port, submit transfer. Transfer confirmed. And then we can click here to view our transaction on the Solana Explorer under DevNet. Make sure you are on the DevNet if you do go here and you put in your, your own transaction without using the link. Look at that, awesome. In the code here, we created two public key addresses for the sender from and the recipient to. We created a signers array with only one signer, the sender. It contains an object with the signers public key and secret key. We hadn't used the secret key that we created a few steps earlier. Now is the time. We used it to sign a transaction, so it must stay very secure. We create instructions for the transactions, from who, to who, and what amount. We create a transaction object and add the instructions. We call send transaction and pass the transaction and the signer. On success, we set transaction signature, which will allow us to build the Solana Explorer URL and set fetching. So now we can go back to Data Hub and click verify for step five. Congratulations, you've just transferred soul tokens using your Rust app. How cool is that? Next, we will look at how to deploy a program written in the Rust language to the Solana cluster. As always, if you had any trouble following this tutorial or simply want to discuss Solana or Data Hub tech, you can join our Discord in the link down below.
I look forward to seeing you there. And until next time, happy coding.